Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of XDC's Let's Play. This is episode 12, and I'm planning to upgrade my bat box that I've got in my industrial craft room. Now first... Now first, I'm going to need to get um, one of those transformers. If not, my machines will blow up. I believe it's an LV. Yeah, it should be an LV. See a recipe. Okay, not too expensive. I've got that stuff. Let's go and make one. I need my copper cables. Oh, I already have some, but I'll just take a bit more. Make some more in my locker. I've got plenty of copper. And I've been smelting some more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the refine, well, the ingots and stuff up here. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I'm going to store my dusts in here. So I need to put them down. So if I scroll all the way to the bottom, this is where I'm going to store the dusts. All the way to the top, it's the ingots. Okay. Um, okay, they don't work in here. I need... Did I need a battery? Uh, no, it was like this, wasn't it? I needed wood. I know that. Okay, so I actually needed to have wood in the corners and cables like that, and that will give me an LV transformer. And while I'm here, I'm going to make a few more copper cables because I'm probably going to need them. Let's head upstairs. And it is night time. As you will probably notice, um, my bat box is out of power because I was macerating some stuff. Why did I do that? I don't know, but. Let's get rid of this. There we go, don't need you anymore. And I'll get rid of this for now as well. What I plan to do is, um... How should I work this? I'm gonna need to have this facing... This. Okay, so the three-sided face well, the side with the three dots will have to face the high voltage. So that's going to have to be up here. And that will work. Nice. So I'm going to have to place, it looks like... Hmm. I know. I'm going to have to... Okay, so I can't place a solar panel there then, that means. I'm going to place this MFE down. And I'm going to wire it... Up. Man, this is confusing. It's not going to work so well, is it? Oops. Okay, so I'm going to lower this room by one block, so... So that this will work nicely, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've, uh, cleared out the room. Well, I've lowered the room by one block. And I don't really quite like how the cobblestone looks, so I'm going to use this and right-click on it. And it turns to stone. That's all good. Do I want to change the... I'm going to turn to sand. That doesn't look so good, so I'm going to leave it dirt. I might turn it into stone at some point, but... I'm going to place my machines back down. Luckily, none of them broke. I was lucky this time. I'm extractor... Wait, first I'm going to place down my... two... furnaces... two macerators... Um, compressor and extractor can go here on this side. Yep, that was how I had it before. Oh, no, don't fall down. And, let's see, where should I place my MFE? I guess I have to place it right. No, I don't. No, I better, yep. Well, I need to put the transformer after the MFE, so... Let's get rid of him. So I'm going to place this right here. And the output needs to be facing down into this. And the output of this has to... What? Oh wait, that's a bad box. Sweet. Whoops. Whoa. 
Okay, so that was the bat box. Not good. Got to be careful when using these things. And the three side... No, it has to be facing the high voltage. Uh, so that has to be facing up. And this guy, output has to be facing down. No. Down. Let's see. Oh, it's not down. Looks like it's down. Let's check. If it's not up, then it has to be down. Let's check behind just to be sure. Yep, it has to be facing down. No other way to face... Oh, what? Come on. What about now? What happened? Let's check it's not facing up. Yep. This better be facing down. It's getting power, which is good. And we can simply test it by on this. Yep. And we're good. Let me clean up this mess I made behind here. Well, I'm going to do it with cobble. I don't like how this dirt looks. And I'll leave the top row for now. I'm going to turn it into stones because, well, I think it looks better. Ta da! How nice. Okay, well, hate this ladder thing. Okay, so that's going to work well. Let's uh, connect up our power. And now we have 600,000 EU available for our storage, which is good. So, I'm going to add more solar panels when I feel like it. And yeah, this room's turning out pretty good. Now there's another item that I also want to make. And that's going to require some tin. So, let's grab our tin from here. I'm going to make myself some cells. Let's see if this recognizes it. No, nope, I don't want cans, I want uh, cells. And you get 16 by simply doing that empty cell. I also need an electronic circuit. Redstone does not sustain there. No, I need a refined iron. Yep, plenty of that. And what was the recipe? I need a machine block. I remember that. <laughs> One of those. Is that it? No. Okay. It's an electrolyzer. This thing. Oh, okay. I was close, in a sense. And... There we go. Electrolyzer. And why would I need this? Actually, I don't need this right now. Why did I make this? I hope this doesn't blow up. Just to be safe, I'm going to put it there. And let's have a look. Okay, I don't actually need to use this right now. What I need to use is get some of these cells and turn them into water cells. And if I place water cells in an extractor, hopefully I'm doing this right, should get coolant cells. Wait, why am I making coolant cells? There was something I wanted to make that required coolant cells. By the way, coolant cells do not stack. 
So that's why I have to take it out. And anyway, there was a machine I wanted to make from industrial craft and required uh, coolant cells. No, no, this is not. Okay, so that's my coolant cells done. Sorry, I'm a bit disorganized. Just trying to look for it. I've totally forgotten. No. No, well, not that. There was something. Come on, there was. Where's it gone? Hmm. Okay, so I seem to have lost it, but who knows, you might need coolant cells in the future, so that'll do. I'll leave them in here for now. So I'm thinking I want to make something from Falcon's weapon mod, because I've kind of been neglecting that lately, so I'll be right back when I sort out my inventory. Okay, so I've cleaned up my inventory and I transmuted myself a bit of string and got some sticks. I'm going to make myself a bow and I'm going to need some iron. I've got to be quick about this, I haven't got much time left in this episode. I thought I saw a creeper outside. Anyway, and if I scroll down, there we go, crossbow. This guy's cool. Need some feathers. And with the feathers I'm gonna make. Oh. Oh, anyway, crossbow bolts. Eight. I'm gonna leave one feather because if I need more, I can transmute them. And yeah, this guy's pretty cool. Basically, you need to hold right click to charge him up. Well, to load him. And then you use him like a normal bird. Oh! What did I tell you? There was a creeper outside. Let's test it out on this guy. Right, that door certainly helps. There we go. Nice. I knew he was outside. I swear I saw him. Yep, that's good. That's how it works. It's basically like a really powerful bow because I'm going to aim at the torch. Right at it, and notice that I'm standing quite a far away. Well, I'm standing quite a long way away from it. It still hit the torch. So, unlike a normal bow, you don't have to compensate for um, the curve of the bow as it falls. That's nice, really useful for accurate sniping. So, yeah, this guy's cool. Except, the only thing I don't like about him is how you have to charge up every time. And there's one more thing I'd like to make. Long fall boot. One requires six iron and two obsidian. Not very expensive, but I need to make another one. Two of them together will give me long fall boots. And I can wear these. Basically they'll uh, prevent me from taking any fall damage whatsoever. So let's go test it out here. We No damage. Awesome. This guy's going to be pretty useful. So as I said, this episode's getting long, so I'm going to pretty much wrap up here. It's nice to have upgraded my room here, and you see, as you can see, I'm getting quite a decent amount of power from just those three panels. And the good thing is it can store a lot more. So that's a nice upgrade. I'm going to add more machines eventually, and more solar panels. So yeah, this is turning out to be quite a nice room. So I'm going to wrap up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like as always and leave comments too with any suggestions or ideas. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Next episode, um, not sure what I'm going to do yet, but hopefully I'll come up with something interesting. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take a bit more. Make some more in my locker. I've got plenty of copper and I've been smelting some more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the refund while the ingots and stuff up here and if I scroll all the way to the bottom I'm gonna store my dusts in here. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I need to 
them down. So if I scroll all the way to the bottom, this is where I'm going to store the dusts. All the way to the top, it's the ingots. Okay. Um, okay, they don't work in here. I need... Did I need a battery? Uh, no, it was like this, wasn't it? Um, one of those transformers. If not, my machines would blow up. Trans... I believe it's an LV. Yeah, it should be an LV. Let's see a recipe. Okay, not too expensive. I've got that stuff. Let's go and make one. I need my copper cables. Oh, I already have some, but... No, I just... Needed wood. I know that. Hmm. Okay, so I actually needed to have wood in the corners and cables like that. And that will give me an LV transformer. And while I'm here, I'm going to make a few more copper cables. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of XDC's Let's Play, this is episode 12, and I'm planning to upgrade my bat box that I've got in my industrial craft room. Now first... Now first, I'm going to need to get 